Welcome back to Destination Dive. Not only is Key Largo home to some of the most iconic wrecks and reefs in the world, but scientists here are trailblazing the coral restoration efforts. Many look at the Keys as ground zero in a sense, as its barrier reef is the third largest barrier reef in the world. This has given scientists the means to research and develop techniques that are not only being used to restore reefs in the Keys, but scientists in other countries are mimicking these same strategies to restore coral reefs around the world. Key Largo has bragging rights to the largest underwater nursery in the world, covering about an acre and a half in size and houses about 30,000 corals that are being raised and will hopefully find a new home on our coral reefs one day to help restoration efforts. Coral Restoration Foundation's vision is that massive large-scale action is what we need to save the world's coral reefs. And Coral Palooza really brings that to life. Not only do we want to bring hundreds of ocean lovers together here in the Florida Keys, but we want to involve uh, multiple or international organizations as well. Coral Palooza is an annual event in Key Largo that draws hundreds of volunteers, scientists, and conservationists together for one common cause to restore the coral reefs in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. One of those volunteers is Kayla Christel, who is the display supervisor at Sea Life Orlando Aquarium. It's underwater work, which is similar to what we do in an aquarium. We get in aquariums and we clean them so that animals have a healthy life, and that's exactly what Coral Restoration Foundation does every day. And just pick out any pieces of algae that you see in that area, keep it nice and clean. Today, we're really focused on maintaining our coral nurseries. And that's going to mean spending two dives in our nurseries. And we're trying to split our time between taking care of all the different trees that exist there. And when I say taking care of them, we're going to be cleaning the trees. This is really important so that we can protect the coral from any kind of competition or overgrowth that it might experience. And it sets the coral up for a nice, healthy future. Coral Palooza is focused on education and raising awareness, giving volunteers and the general public an opportunity to learn about the important work being done in the Keys to save our corals, along with hands-on experiences that will hopefully make a lasting impact on these future stewards of the oceans. Coral reefs represent less than 1% of the ocean floor, yet supports at least one in every four marine species which makes the work at Coral Palooza even more important. Since the 1950s, we've lost 50% of the world's coral reefs. But what frightens me is that by the year 2100, within the next 80 years, we might lose our shallow water coral reef ecosystems altogether. Now, we've never lost an ecosystem before, so we don't know what that means. Sure, as scuba divers and people who like to snorkel and engage with the marine resources, that's sad, but what does it mean for us in terms of food? What does it mean for the planet and a healthy ocean overall? Despite the stress our corals are under, Coral Palooza is making waves. This three-day event attracted more than 650 people in the Keys, contributing to more than 1,260 hours to coral restoration activities and outreach. But Coral Palooza's reach stretched around the world as volunteers in six other countries as far away as Indonesia participated as well. Coral reefs house 70, 80 percent of wildlife out in the ocean, so if we lose these corals, it's going to be detrimental to the life that we know here on this planet. As scientists and volunteers continue this race to save our reefs and work tirelessly to find the most resilient corals to plant, they know their trailblazing efforts are making a difference. Corals are beginning to respond, showing signs of life even in areas that were hit the hardest by bleaching. It's an encouraging sight and proof that we can make a difference. Because in the Florida Keys, the reefs aren't just something to be admired, they're something worth fighting for. Coming up, we will take you to John Pennycamp State Park, where scientists and volunteers are saving the seafloor. And it's with something so simple you can find it in your sock drawer.